First up, the poor condition of Jammu and Kashmir schools reveals the grim picture of education sector in the state. A government school in Kangan town of Gandharbal district looks more like a horse stable where students can be seen reading under tin sheds. On the other hand, students of a primary school in Kupwara district are forced to undertake the dangerous task of crossing a water body on a wooden plank to reach the school. And these examples are contradicting the government's claims of providing basic education to children from economically backward families. And despite repeated pleas and significant funding as well from several schemes, the education department, it seems, has no money for these students. बहुत खतर लगता है यहाँ तक ये पिछली बार जब हम स्कूल आए थे तो कभी कभी यहाँ पर बारिश होती है कभी जोर से बारिश आती है तो यहाँ पर जो फ्लड भी आता है इसलिए हम स्कूल स्कूल अच्छी तरह से नहीं जा पाते हैं और कभी कभी तो दो तीन बार तो हम इस पे गिर 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 के नीचे भी गए थे और हमारे जो टीचर टीचर हाँ लड़के बहुत जख्मी हुए थे और वो भी छोटे छोटे थे दो तीन बार कंप्लेंट की और जडी साहब को भी हमने बोला था कि फिर तो ये न्यूज में भी आ गया था लेकिन उसके बाद भी कुछ नहीं हुआ हमारे स्कूल में बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम्स का हमें सामना करना पड़ता है मैं एट्थ क्लास में पढ़ती हूँ हम शर्म में पढ़ते हैं हमें बहुत सा हमें डिस्टर्ब होता है दूसरे बच्चों से जो छोटे छोटे बच्चे वो शोर करते हमारे स्कूल में बाथरूम्स तो है मगर पानी अवेलेबल नहीं है ना वाटर सप्लाई है और गवर्नमेंट ऐसी बहुत सारे वादे करते मगर करती कुछ नहीं है शर्ट हमारे शर्ट में देखो सर जब हम पढ़ते हैं तीन तीन क्लास हमारे साथ होती है पहले नंबर सर जब हम बारिश पड़ जाती है तो वो सर हमारी किताबों का ये हाल होता जाता है कुछ बच्चे जब गर्मी ज्यादा होती है तो गश की वजह से गिर पड़ते हैं पिछले साल हमने दो को फिर हॉस्पिटल भी रेफर किया हुआ था बच्चों के साथ नाइंसाफी हो रही है एग्जैक्टली ये खाली मैंने कह रहा हूँ समाज भी कह रहे हैं जो पेरेंट्स हैं वो भी कहते होंगे तो बच्चों के साथ नाइंसाफी रही है एक ही क्लास में जब तीन 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 क्लासें होंगी तो बच्चों पर उतना कंसंट्रेट नहीं रहता है by those are some of the students as well as the staff members narrating the ordeal under which these students are studying and continuing the education meer farid is joining us now live meer these are the stories that we've been tracking very closely for the past few months the dwindling education infrastructure of the valley each time the government comes up with tall claims of ensuring uh, upgrading the infrastructure but it appears nothing is really reflected on ground Well, absolutely. We at Mirror now have been following this story. This is a campaign wherein we are exposing the rot in the education system, in the education infrastructure here in the Kashmir Valley. Now, these are two examples coming in from Kangan, which is in central Kashmir, and Kupara. Uh, which is uh, a border district now uh, in both of these examples you can clearly see uh, the sad state of affairs as far as the education system is concerned while uh, if you talk of the city still things are better but in far flung areas as we have been saying non stop things are very very bad now these are poor kids from uh, economically backward uh, classes uh, people who cannot afford private uh, school education so they send their watch to the government schools but uh, unfortunately just look at the state of affairs in one case in kangan these kids uh, uh, poor kids are uh, made to suffer in these uh, schools uh, which look more like stable uh, or a horse stable in fact in this case there are at least four to five classes in a tin shed uh, and uh, a tin sheet separating them from one another now in extreme colds uh, the, in, in extreme cold there are freezing temperatures they are made to sit there and then uh, if you look of uh, summers again uh, these uh, the, these these tin sheds become hot furnaces so this uh, is the reality and uh, unfortunately they have been going from pillar to post uh, highlighting their issues but there is no one to come forward to help them uh, not only students but teachers also uh, confirm what these students really go through each uh, passing day but uh, again if you talk of uh, the education uh, the higher ups in the education department the authorities uh, while they get the best facilities for them you go to their offices you'll find and every latest facility but when it comes to giving these facilities to these poor kids for which there is ample funding centrally sponsored schemes but this money is not reaching these people so this is clearly something which is absolutely shocking now uh, if you move to kupara the border area you can clearly see how uh, these small kids right. are forced to move uh, on a wooden plank uh, which uh, probably for the authorities is a bridge but it is a medieval uh, pathway which leads to the school many kids have fallen into the water many have uh, been injured now it seems the authorities are waiting for some big tragedy for some kid to get uh, uh, drowned in this water and then they'll wake up so this is absolutely shocking and uh, 
uh, we'll keep tracking uh, these stories from and, uh, far flung uh, areas uh, of uh, the Kashmir Valley. The fact being that we at Mira now have consistently been bringing out these reports to the government for them to take action. And there have been assurances also made each time. What is it that they are claiming that they've done up until now? Because these stories have been coming on for several months. We at Mira now have been campaigning against this issue for several months now. Each time we bring up a story, there are assurances made, but it appears that nothing is really being done. What is the authorities? What do the authorities have to say on what is it that they've done so far? Well, they have taken small steps here and then, but that's only when we come out with these stories, we've exposed them, and uh, uh, out of shame, they have acted. Uh, if you took off the other, the uh, story that we played uh, just a couple of days back, where an MLA uh, had to break the lock of his school to open it, and teachers were missing from the first day of this particular session. There, a deputy CEO was suspended. In other stories as well, it's only after we expose it and then they act. But otherwise, if you talk of... Uh, Generally, the situation, it needs a complete overhaul. Uh, now, uh, again, as I said, it's happening in the far-flung areas where uh, the students, the kids uh, are in desperate need of education. Education is their right. It is being denied. Now, uh, as I said, there is no shortage of funding. The centrally sponsored schemes, centers promised funding, money, which gets lapsed uh, the, due to uh, these way people who are sitting at the helm of affairs. Uh, they do not know how to run it or either there is something that is stopping yes. them. Uh, either there is corruption or something or the other uh, is ensuring that uh, this infrastructure is in shambles and uh, again uh, now uh, now that we have exposed it they'll surely act uh, in Kangan or in other places but then as I said it needs a general overhaul it needs uh, uh, an audit and uh, people need to go to these far flung mm -hmm. areas see for themselves the situation of these schools what the problem what day to day problems these kids face now these are basic uh, infrastructural facilities basics uh, that we're talking of we're not talking of big things and uh, even uh, if you talk about basics, these schools are lacking. And so clearly, this is a rod that has been exposed. And uh, now more needs to be done as far as uh, going to these schools, finding out these faults, and then correcting them. Now, it needs uh, to be done on a massive scale. But as of now, it seems uh, uh, once we expose it, uh, they take action on uh, restricted cases. But nothing, uh, if you talk of generally acting against uh, all these complaints and uh, generally as far as the infrastructure is concerned. As you mentioned, uh, uh, Mir, there isn't any shortage of funds as far as schemes pertaining to the educational infrastructure is concerned. But it does appear there is no will at the moment. We'll continue tracking the story with you. Thanks, Amir, for joining us with all those inputs.